All right. So with any luck, we should be live and let's go. So today I'm going to be doing some speed running of uh, Secret Agent HD. Um, I ran a sort of casual-ish speed run uh, yesterday and got a place, uh, got a time that was about good for second place, um, about 30 seconds or so behind the world record. So today I'm going to do a bit of a, um, a bit of a sighting run through episode one first and then go back and actually properly try and speedrun it. Um, this other stuff I'll explain as we go along. Let's get into it. Hey Joe, thanks for jumping in. <clears throat> okay, so, um... Right, sliding roll, let's just get straight into it. Um... I will time this, but this won't be the actual run. So, three, two, one, go. So, timing for a secret agent run starts when you start the new game, um, and then it ends when you... Uh, start walking out of the uh, the last level. So basically, when you finish the stuff that affects the time it takes, basically that's that's obvious. Um, first level everyone seems to do is this one, and then the one that's a little bit further on, um, and I'll explain why. This one is basically you have to do this one to get through to the second one. Um, okay, let's 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 try this properly. So, this level, if you play Secret Agent at all, you'll become very familiar with this level. Uh, it's not particularly hard, but it is kind of tedious, because there's this sort of castle in the middle, and you just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You have to grab the key from the top, you have to come back down here to grab the, uh, the disc. Jump all the way back across the top to the other side. Now, I've already taken care of the uh, little radar dish that was on the roof there. Um, that is one of the two objectives in every secret agent level. The other being this dynamite, and I've not done this well enough. So the disc is optional in a handful of levels, but basically what it does is you run to this terminal here and it turns off that laser and lets you progress through an area. Um, so why am I using a PlayStation controller? I've actually discovered I quite like it as a controller for retro games. Um, I've tried it and the current Xbox controller, I prefer this. The Xbox one is so much heavier, it's not some... Um, I don't like it as much, essentially. Right, that's one level done. This is the one that really makes it... Why didn't that work? Okay, this one I was doing a lot of attempts on this morning, so there's a lot of timing to get right. And there's a platform cycle that we absolutely have to get. Oh, this isn't, um... So, what I'm doing at the moment is just like a sliding run. I just want to sort of refresh my memory on each of the levels and then look at some of the different strategies for them. This one, for example, I'm going to have to restart anyway and change to... Windowed mode, because... Why is it not jumping when I do that? Guess that's the fire button, you idiot. Okay. Uh, about 24, 25 minutes. World record, I think, is 24 or something. So, this level, there's a couple of steps you really have to do very quickly in... Uh, that's probably... Even that's going to be too slow. Um, the problem is, the reason I changed to 
windowed mode is because that actually affects the timing of some things in this game. Um, I don't know that that will ever be fixed. Here we go. No, didn't get it. And the question is, do you want to try and get everything right the first time? Because it, it will save you 5 or 10 seconds in the run if you get this one correctly. Or do you go with the full screen? I might just end up going full screen for all of it, just do like a more casual one. Um, don't know that I really want to get into all the platform timings and so on today. Have we got it. <sighs> okay, we'll give it one more go. And then I'll just switch back to full screen because this is clearly not so uh, clearly not working. Okay, this might be it. Okay. We can take this a little bit slowly because we have to wait for this platform to come back again. That's simply simply it. But the, the main thing is to get to that platform before it disappears, um, that's going to be the fastest way to do this level. Um, the only other checkpoint like that in this level is right at the end, where there's a turret on the ceiling that you have to shoot. Um, or maybe even just run past it if you have health, we'll see how that goes. The dog should be right here, yep. Good. Now the top of this little pyramid thing in this level is a bit of a pain because there's this guy running back and forth. Didn't quite get him. Okay. That went okay, we've got full health still. Now the problem is... Yes, okay, good. Here's that turret. I forgot to get the dynamite. Yeah, I'm actually just going to stop the timer because it's going to make people think I'm actually running this at the moment. Um, you know, let's let's just go casual. Let's just uh, go full screen. And you'll see the difference. The platform will be several seconds away. Yeah, it's already running away, see? And then it's quick to just jump down to that little spot there. The problem with this level in particular is that it is just so much back and forth, back and forth. Um, especially around the pyramid. You just sort of do circles around the middle of the map, essentially. Um, and that makes it quite annoying to do, especially right after the castle level. Um, but the reason we're doing this level first, uh, second rather, is that lightning bolt looking pickup right at the bottom. Good. Green door, get the red key. Jump back up here for the dynamite. <sighs> That's not going well. If you don't make that little turnaround to get into here, you have to drop down there, um, push the barrel past the dog. And then just continue on. So this pickup here means we can shoot two shots at once. Not so crucial for this part, but that will be important later. So that's three levels. This one is fun. I was doing a lot of um, trying a lot of optimization with this one too. Um. 
really all we have to do is get the keys. We don't have to worry about all the uh the shiny stuff. Actually, let's do a proper simulation here. Now it is basically perfectly timed to get that blue key first, but going up here makes a few things a bit easier. Down. You ignore the P because that's irrelevance. Just enough time to run back to here. Now we've lost some health, which is not ideal, but that's okay. Just means those uh, the spikes at the end will be interesting. Okay. So I don't think shooting the turret is actually the best way to go. It's not the fastest way. You can actually run underneath it. Uh, it just depends on where it is at the time and, you know, the cycle. So what are the spikes up to? Okay. I'll have to pause here, because that's going to come up. Ward jumps up, wait for the second one. Yeah, stand at the dynamite, because standing there and taking a hit from the dynamite is the fastest way to exit a level. It looks goofy, but it is. This one... This is another one where the full screen or windowed mode cycle matters. Um, but not for this demonstration. It, it doesn't take any extra time at all to get the ammo in these corners, so you may as well do that. Just because of the way the cycles are laid out. Still experimenting with these little turrets. I think if we run past here... We can grab that. Open the doors. And then pull the barrel in. Right. So it's this platform here. Um, that's about... 5 seconds different. Um, depending on whether it's full screen or windowed. I think this might be the slower way to... You have to grab this. Before you can jump down here. Need the blue key as well, no matter what. So this level's all about the um, the cycle with the spikes and that platform. I'm wasting a bit of ammo here. Okay, two shots out of that. It takes three to kill, but we'll come back and fire the last one at it when we're on our way back in. Drop the barrel down here. Time it poorly anyway. Leave the barrel just there so it's a bit quicker to jump up. Uh, out from under the uh, concrete. You can jump directly uh, across one platform down there, but it's tricky, it's tricky to do and just instantly kills the run. If you get it wrong. But, that's not bad. Minutes for that level is not bad. This one, I'm still trying to figure out the best route through. Um, I think in any case, you're going to start by going straight up to get the red key, then do these jumps to get the blue one. The problem with this uh, this sort of jump here is you can't just hold you can't just hold a direction and jump um, because your jumping time is slightly slightly out of cycle, or slightly offset from. Uh, jumping between platforms like that. So eventually, if you just hold jump and right, you will eventually just fall into the spikes and die. <sighs> ah. Okay. Here's a fun trick. You can actually jump on the various edges of the platforms here and miss the, um, miss the spikes. But I did not do that. Um, it's on Steam, and it's also on GOG, if you don't use Steam. Right. <laughs> it's 
my reset key? That one. Okay, let's do a proper simulation here. Oh, nice. With that timing, we actually just end up at the red, uh, the green key without having to pause at all. Nicely done. I mean, it will go on sale eventually. But honestly, it's also if if if, if this is your kind of game, it's worth it. If it's worth it for eight bucks. It's such a sweet little platformer. Um, and it's much, it's much nicer to play than the original. What am I forgetting? Apart from that. I think that's it. Okay, not bad. Now, fun trick with the lasers here, you can actually just jump straight through them. Uh, where do we need to go? Right. Take care of this guy. Okay, so the goggles create these little platforms here. And make it so that we can jump to this platform. Ah. Okay. Should jump off. The, uh, the right side of that one. As it turns out... Crap. Okay. Gotta kill that guy at the first go. This is another back and forth one. So, unlike... Crystal Caves, where the levels are fairly linear, even though there's still a bit of a puzzle, uh, Secret Agent levels are a lot more back and forth. The head to go that to go a bit faster. So we're coming up here to get the other key and then the the disc. Oh boy! Nearly jumped right in the flames. Um so now we want to come down here, I think. Yep. Into going that way. Um, I haven't made pesto in a while. I saw that recipe in your Discord. I haven't actually uh, looked at it just yet. I haven't had the time this morning. Okay, this is what's meant to be the actual first level of the game. But because we've got a ton of ammo and we've got the double shot pickup, uh, we will breeze through this. Check is waiting for that to go past. It's probably faster to just straight jump over that guy, but it's a bit more of a risk and you don't really need to take risks in a super easy level like this. Disc, get that extra ammo, why not? Run through the door, hopefully time the spike. No, we do need to go up there. Ammo does carry over from level to level, and it's the only item that does, apart from the um the power pickup. Red door. Got this ammo anyway. The key. Now 
Now we just get the radar dish. And just sprint for the exit. And we don't have the dynamite just yet, but that's because it's here. Okay, that's a pretty good, uh, pretty, pretty smooth run of the first level, really. Now, once that spike's gone, this is just a little race down back to here. Get that guy out of the way quickly, just because we can. And once we grab the green key from in here... Ah. Gotta find a better way, a uh, better timing to kill that guy as well. And avoid the spikes. Now, we don't actually need the disc, I don't think, because, in theory... Ah! It's gonna kill me. So the radar dish is just at the edge of that screen there, so let's let's ignore the disc this time. Whoever this guy gives, he's irrelevant. So we don't even really need that key. So do we just run... Yeah, we're just ready here, we grab the dynamite. Oh, this guy's gonna be tough to get past. It is possible to jump over the... ...the shrapnel that the floor tank creates. Um, is that it? That's a really quick level. If that's all we have to do then. Nice. And we got health enough to stand in the dynamite, perfect. Um, I don't think I did that in my... Uh, my actual run yesterday, so that's nice. Move the barrel just so that we can jump up here and also up here. Dance around the ceiling tank a little. So that little uh, question mark pickup is like a confusion thing. It basically reverses left and right for about 20 seconds or so. Okay, that turret never even saw me. Interesting. Where is my timing today? Radar dish here and there. Now we don't even need the disc really because we can just fall down here. So we're more than halfway through the episode at this point. Um, but once I'm done, we'll just go straight into a proper run as well. So this level, that first bit relies on a ton of brilliant timing. It's all about getting to here at that particular cycle of the spikes. Well, it's not the way I intended to go, but let's do that. Barrel's, barrel's got to be pushed down the side here to get the dynamite. In this one we do need... 
You do need to shut off that laser because that's the only way to get to the exit. Terrible. Good, that spikes on a good cycle. And now it's just a straight run to the finish. Not a bad time for that level. That went really smoothly. Why did I try to jump there? So another way you really don't have to worry about this turret here. You just run beneath it and it's fine. That was a dumb place to jump, I don't know why you even bothered jumping there. Ah! Okay. Have to shoot that, otherwise it shoots you and kills you instantly. Platform's not in a great cycle. We get to do this. Jump down to the bottom. You even missed the laser, that's nice. Okay, that was a good run through that one too. Now the plot of this game is, I mean, it's a it's a 90s platformer. Um, basically, the whole thing is a takeoff of James Bond. Uh, you have to infiltrate this secret island, steal the blueprints for this super weapon that's being built, so on and so forth. The blueprint itself is just an item in the last level. Because we've activated these platforms, we can now jump up and get the dynamite. And that's it for this level. Hopefully this guy's not in a bad position. He is in a bad position. Oh well, we can run through that. Alright, last two levels, and then the final one. Uh, this is a complex level and it's easy to screw up if you don't pay attention as well. It'd be a little bit quiet here. Maze will shoot the dog, it's slightly easier because we have to come through this a little bit a few times. Okay. Almost in time to shoot that guy, that would have been great. Definitely need the dynamite. Now, we have to jump in here. Do we have to jump in there? No, oh, we don't have to jump in there yet. As that laser goes, we jump up here to grab the... Yeah, let's go over it. That'll do. That level is a lot harder to do if you want to collect everything. There's a certain order of um, order of operations and so on. Now this level, this bloody level. So being this other guy on the Ember Hard Games Discord, are kind of in a um, an IL speedrun battle on the over this level. And unfortunately it relies on a really precise jump. Nope. It 
does. Yeah, okay, cool, we got it. We got it, we got it, we got it. The downside is we are down one bit of health. But let's go for it. Okay, cool, we might... Yes, okay, this is a good little run. Damn it. 41 to 42 seconds, that's, that's fine. Now the last level, something I really like about this game is that the last level in each episode is actually quite straightforward. It's not some massive boss battle that takes you, you know, 20 attempts to get it right. And I've gone the wrong way. Yeah, jumping up through the lasers is... You have to basically stand on the very edge of a platform, and it is... It's very precise to do. Now with this level, you're meant to do a lot more jumping around than I've done here. Um, because you... What, what, it, what it tries to make you do is collect all three keys, go through the doors. Um, but there's a bit of a shortcut in this one, which you'll see in a moment. We'll grab the dynamite. We've already taken out the radar dish, so in theory we can just leave the level. We can do that by jumping up here. And that's that. So. That took about half an hour. And like I said, that is just the sighting Oh, did I turn the timer on again? Whoops. Right. The next step is more interesting. Because now the actual speed run starts. Um... One other thing I'll mention is that the speedrun rules on speedrun.com don't actually mention difficulty for this game. Because the original DOS game from 1992... 92? 91? For 20 years ago, 30 years ago, um, that game did not actually have a difficulty setting. Um, I think the most reliable way to do a speedrun would probably be on easy because you've got the extra, he uh, the extra health. So you can take one extra hit before you end up dying and having to restart a level. Uh, but I'm just going to go normal. Any difference between the original DOS version and the HD besides graphics? Yes. The original, um, the original engine for this game was a lot more finicky. Uh, it was a lot harder to do very basic jumps and things. So this is... Between the two, if you wanted to buy one, get the HD version. It is... There are so many little quality of life tweaks in the game. Um, several of which I am personally responsible for. Because if we let this go down to the list of testers... Yeah, that's me. I beta tested this game. So... That's actually partly why I know it so well. Um, I've been playing it pretty endlessly for some time. Anyway. Right, here we go. Three, two, one, start everything. Down to the castle first. So the red key is for the other side, so we need the green key. Okay. Okay, that was a little slow, but I wanted to get that guy out of the way. And these missiles aren't too scary if you know the timings of things. Right. Grab that. 
Cool, this is going really well. Swimmingly well. So we bring the barrel down here so that we can flick the laser off. I think jumping over the barrel there is faster than pushing it down there and doing some slick movement. Oh my god, I just missed that jump for no reason whatsoever. That's okay. Those jumps could have been better. Okay, the ceiling tank's in a good position. Not that good position really means much. Okay. Again, it wasn't jumping as I, I was holding the button and it loaded the level and it wasn't jumping. And I've already taken unnecessary damage. Let's see how this goes. I think we're gonna be okay. Although I could have taken much less risk there because I was on a simpler cycle, but whatever. These are the things that happen in a speedrun. And yes, in case you've uh, switched to another tab, this is now the actual speedrun. That was dumb. Yep, I'm now actually doing a speedrun. I may already have screwed up this level pretty badly. But everyone is good practice. And especially with how well the uh, castle level went, I don't really... Oh my gosh. Okay, that was not smooth at all. <laughs> Get the dynamite, do not forget the dynamite, do not forget to take the dynamite. Well, that would have just been a run reset. Don't miss the jump. Let's let's take an extra second just to make that more reliable each time. Now, because we've already lost two health, we need to stand back from the dynamite. Okay. This is going okay so far. No, I need to reset that. I do need that ammo. my testing last night, I definitely need that ammo. Good. Excellent. Just enough to grab the dynamite and then grab the key. One spike. Okay, that's about as good as I could possibly have hoped that to go. Pointlessly screwed up. Okay, I think that is going to be quickest because we just push the barrel through. Easy does it. Get that guy. Now, what are the spikes doing? Oh, perfect. Was for just a split second there. Okay, that is honestly about as about as well as that level could go. Moving on. Right, and of course we're doing this the slower way, so we can take a little extra time through these cabins, through these corridors and not take any unnecessary risks. Cool. Oh yes. Okay. 
Now it's just a matter of this platform cycle. Oh my god. <laughs> that was dumb. That was so bad. That was bad. Um, because I'm just so used to, I was timing it in my head rather than. Uh, yep. This is that's that's a well disaster. Spikes up, spikes down. Oh well, we we keep going, we keep going. Um, this is a game after all. This is purely for fun. I've not had to reset a level yet. Well, not this far into one anyway. So again, that, that thing at the end will come back and take the last shot of that when we need to. Drop the barrel, follow the barrel. Just gotta wait for the spikes because we have no health to spare. Cool. Okay, good. That was that that jump was a bit of a risk, but it paid off. Last shot at that guy. Right. Um, score has no impact at all, really, on a speed run. Um, there's no extra bonuses or anything that you get. It's just. When I'm speedrunning a game like this, my brain is just screaming at me to collect all the things because I'm otherwise just completely ignoring them. It's like, oh, you could have grabbed that, you could have grabbed that, you could have gotten that bonus. Etc, etc. It's just points. That one definitely has to go. Okay, I think I've got the positioning. I was on that half a pixel where you actually don't get anything. And I'm so glad that ammo is there just to let you know. I really need that. Oh yeah, there's a um Well I mean there's a full on um leaderboard on the Steam version. Ah, I should have... okay. If you do finish a level with perfect health, you get that little pop-up. Um, and if you're not expecting it, then it wastes time. Go for it. Buy it. You should stream it. Um, like I said, I beta tested this. I didn't have any direct influence on... Um, but the first three episodes are the same levels as they were in the original game. Uh, what am I doing? I go down this way now, don't I? Yeah, there we go. Uh, the first three episodes are exactly the same. There is a fourth extra episode which was created entirely by the uh, programmer of the game. Um, I don't have any of my own levels in that. I wasn't allowed to, but that's totally fine. That's, you know, they had their own plans for that. Um, but I did have a fair bit of influence in some of those levels and the way that they play. And of course, if you get the Steam version, uh, there's also the Steam Workshop levels. There's I think 100, uh, don't quote me, but it's over, well over 100 levels that people have created and just uploaded for other people to play. Um, and same with uh, Crystal Caves, the game before this, which I didn't beta test, but I've also played the hell out of. Gotta pay attention just for a moment. Okay. And yeah, Crystal Caves, I think, just broke 700 levels in the Steam Workshop.
Uh, and if you don't buy the Steam version, uh, there is also a Google Drive folder that we've been uploading some levels to for GOG users to play as well. So that is an option. Okay, that went really well despite me talking through the entirety of it. First level. No risks. Take no risks. We need that. Probably don't need the ammo, but whatever. And the laser off, but we still go up here a bit. Because we need a key. See that money bag? It's. It always physically pains me to not go after it. Just because it's so ingrained in my mind to wait there and grab it as it falls. And now we'll run to the end. Easy does. Easy does? Easy as. And or easy does it. Right, yeah, so this one we just grab... We just run in and grab the... Blue key from up here. We ignore the disc entirely. Grab this blue key. And just grab... The dynamite. Jump upstairs. Nah, that didn't go as well as I'd hoped. Okay. Remember the spikes, remember the spikes, you idiot. Okay, this is going really, really well. So of course this is where I'm going to screw up everything. Cool. Oh yeah, we don't need the disc in this one, do we? Because we can jump over the... The, um, even, even a puzzle just as simple as reversing left and right for a short while makes for some very interesting gameplay. It's, it's like rewiring your brain. It's like, um, a while ago I did a playthrough of Crystal Caves with the Gravis gamepad turned upside down. Because uh, you can do that and use it in left-handed mode, and I tried it in left-handed mode, and it nearly broke my brain trying to, you know, figure out what I needed to do. Because doing that doesn't just, um, like it doesn't... Directions? Oh no, I did the perfect health thing again. Oh no, I got perfect health at that level. Because um, all of a sudden it reverses which hand is doing which, the directions of the buttons. Um, it's, it was fun, but I wouldn't seriously try and play a game like that again, I don't think. I mean, maybe I could do, like, an episode one, just casual playthrough like that. I wouldn't want to do it. You know, it's a major thing. Alright, turn that guy around. Get rid of this. Get rid of that. 
Pratt. There are some faster jumps that I can do here if I ignore picking up certain items. That oh not like that. But closer to the ceiling. Um you intentionally bash your head on things to fall quicker. That can be useful. Okay, this is going surprisingly well despite me just talking through most of it and just not really paying that much attention. That jump, for example, is a bit of a tricky one. If you screw that up, you lose everything. Because um, those landmines on the ground, if you touch them, they're instant death. It's not just, oh yeah, we'll take away one bit of health. That is instant death, instant restart the level. Uh, we go back around. Okay. With keys. Jump down here. That was dumb. But didn't slow me down. Gotta wait for this laser to go. That's not an instant kill, but it does take away damage, uh, health. Don't jump here, don't get hit by the turret. Guy running around here. Key, back up top. Shoot this thing three times, yep. Which is faster to do if you just jump next to it. Wait for the platform, wait for that. Can we? Yes! Okay, so you can do that in one platform cycle if you shoot the thing from a distance. Bit messy at the end of there just because of the uh, timing of that enemy, but whatever. We have to do. Okay. Is he going to be right at the end? If I just fire like this... Ah, uh, just run through. Just run through! Take the damage, whatever. Uh, okay, this is this is ridiculous. 19 and a half minutes, we've got three levels to go. Um, assuming I don't screw things up from here, this will be a really good time. Yes, we need to go upstairs, we need to grab the dynamite, and then we just run for it. Now we grab the dynamite, then we drop back down to the bottom of the right side. Oh crap, we need the key! Talking about things that are three steps ahead, and then... If we get hit by this thing, which we don't, that's interesting. Okay, that was a really smooth run. Level of Doom. Okay. Oh, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. This is going to be a great run. Get the 
damage. We got the laser jump first go. That's fine. Turn around. Oh no! Okay. Close enough. Holy crap. Okay. You go over here, we need to shoot that. You go grab the dynamite. Which is in the top left. That was dumb. I screw up the jump. Twenty-two seventeen, or twenty-two. That might have been a fifteen when it ends at the um, when you start walking out of that last level. So for like the, 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 the three people that are watching, that was actually a world record. Because... Let's bring up... Where's my mouse? There we go. So... Games Lofalo... Secret Agent... Yeah, episode 1 HD. So, current world record is 2453, or was, I suppose. Um, that run was done on hard difficulty, so that guy, 100% respectful. Um, that's still an excellent, excellent time. Um, but a 2217 is... Yeah, that's world record by about two and a half minutes, a little bit more than that, thereabouts. Um... And yeah, Space Invader in. Hello. Um, I chat with this guy on the DOS Gamer uh, Discord as well. So he might be watching this with interest. Who knows? Um, so, that's interesting. Um, let's do it again. <laughs> See what we get. 2278. Let's go and jot that down on a thing that I can see on a different screen. Give it a minute for my hands to cool down, actually. This... The PlayStation controller, the DualShock 4, I like it. Um, it's... It's not lightweight, but it's lighter than the Xbox controller, which makes a difference over a long time, uh, over a long play session. Um, it's not very good if your hands get a bit sweaty, though. Like, the grip is still good, but it's very uncomfortable. Uh, surprisingly. Alright. Let's reset the clock. Take a quick sip. Are they refreshing? Caffeine free. No caffeine. Um, I quit, mostly quit caffeine a little while ago, and I've never, never slept better. I've got so much more energy. It's, I recommend it. Um, anyway, three, two, one, let's go. Uh, it's also sugar-free. It's basically just cola-flavored fizzy water. I've already screwed up a jump there. So, yes, you can argue that my next step, having given up sugary soft drink and caffeine, is to give up, you know, soft drink entirely, and I'm working on that. I am working on that. I'm also regularly running on a treadmill. Um, I've, I've actually been doing a lot of running lately. Um, I'm losing weight, which is great. Um, 
mainly just because I'm I am super unfit. Um, and I just want to, you know, feel healthy and move easier. I should probably pay attention if I were to do this correctly, hey? But yeah, just getting rid of caffeine on its own has been, you know, um... It, it sounds like a tiny thing, but just sleeping better means you get proper energy back in the morning, and you just I just feel so much better um, without having been affected by it. Yeah. Why did I do that? Why did I do the perfect health? Like I've never, I've never, I've never, I don't drink coffee. Um, the only hot drink I really drink is hot chocolate, which I've become a bit of a, a master of making at home. Um, yeah, I used to get the headaches. So I used to just, you know, you get the headache, and then you end up having to drink more just because you feel so awful. It is, it is literally an addictive drug. Um, and it's awful to be in its clutches. But yeah, I've I've never really been one to drink lots of. Oh, it's got a tiny bit. It's not as bad as like you know a, a bottle of Pepsi or whatever. Well, I didn't need to do that to do that jump. And that was a bit silly. Yeah, I always drank. I, I've I've drunk way too much coke in my life. Um, it's what I had instead of you know tea and coffee, and I just had too much of it without going super into it. We got the turn around. I'll take that. A really weird um, social side effect of it is that I've I don't really know how to make like a good coffee. Um, it's just you know coffee enthusiasts figure out you know you gotta get a good machine, you gotta get good beans, whatever, grind the beans, you know whatever what, whatever it is. Um, I've just never I don't know these things. Um, like I can make my my partner um, tea or coffee at home. Oh, that was quick. Um, but I don't know what what I don't I don't know coffee. Um, it's led to some funny moments in the past, uh, especially at work, where like you know all my coworkers will be like you know they'll get you know the the five different kinds of coffee that they all like themselves, and then I'm just sitting there with like um yeah can I just get a hot chocolate and. I've had people in the past look at me and sort of take me aside later and be like, look, y you have to get into tea or coffee, this is... You can't just have a hot chocolate or a Coke every time. It's like, well... Screw you. I'm gonna have what I prefer, I'm gonna have what, um... You know, what I actually enjoy drinking. I'm not gonna buy a coffee and just let it, you know, sip at it for a couple of times and then... Shut the rest of it just because, you know, I need to look the same as everyone else. Yeah, I don't I don't work with that person anymore. That's that's ancient history. Fortunately.
Oh, mate, you... yeah. I need to find a way to make that little bit of jumping a little more reliable. Or maybe I don't, because I'm... This cycle really changes everything anyway. Okay. Even given that this level can be a lot faster if you get the platform cycle right with the game running in a window instead of full screen, that, I think, was a really good combination of things happening there. So even though I'm on the slower cycle, um, I'm happy with how this is going. Um, yeah, as for smoking, um, I don't smoke either. Um, lots of people around me have smoked. Um, no one really at the moment, which is really good. And really the only people at the moment who smoke in Australia are people who have been smoking for 30, 40 years anyway. Um, it's very rare to see someone start smoking. There's... Like, there's, there's massive restrictions on selling it, like, there's... It's hugely, hugely taxed, so any cigarettes are extremely expensive in Australia. Um, they're all in really ugly brown packaging, which is, like, the brand name, what it is, and so on. Um, so it doesn't even look good as a product on a shelf, even if it was visible on a shelf, it's all locked away in, um... You know, you basically have to go to... If you buy from the supermarket, you have to go to, like, the service desk and ask for it specifically. Yeah. So I think, yeah, people are just... Um, people who quit smoking or tragically die from the side effects of it, they're not being replaced in Australia by other people starting to smoke, which is really good, I think. Actually, it's probably quicker to just jump up here, isn't it? Yeah. That's a little optimization right there. Uh, now we... Yeah, now we just... Exit. Okay, that was super quick. Ah! That was not super quick. Forgot what I was doing. It's easy in this level to forget that you need to just... You, you just have to jump under the wire. Just had a thought that I might... Investigate something later on. Um, typically, you jump on top of the wire and then uh, run against the fire, or jump over the fire to get down there, just because there's lots of spikes otherwise. Um, they... It might be quicker to jump underneath. I've not actually tried that. Um, okay. Oh, that was poorly timed, but whatever. Because you can run underneath here, but there's those, there's like three spikes, or two from the left, at least.
Okay, quest level again. Get to relax just a little bit. Um, how's the sound levels and stuff? This is the first time I've streamed in quite some time, so... Hopefully everything's reasonable, settings-wise. Okay, got that. Oh good, cool. Cool, cool, cool. It's not a lot of optimization to be done in this level. There's just, you know, shorten some height, uh, short, short the height of some jumps and... Oh my god. Don't do that. Don't shoot the wall in the opposite direction of the thing that you actually need to shoot. That's a pretty good optimization. I think the end of one, uh, the end of that one's always going to be a bit weird. Yeah, we do go in here now. I'm just gonna have to run through that. There's... I don't think there's a good way to, to time jumping over the uh, the shrapnel from that tank. Okay, that was slick. Right, dynamite only. This will be a quick level. platform. Okay, that was smooth. So this part you can take fairly easily, there's just some timing to get right, as in shooting the um, the head of the guy that pops up and then dodging that missile, but aside from that, all you have to do is make this first uh, platform cycle. Um, that said, again, this might be another cycle that could be different with different um, graphic settings, just different windowing. And I haven't tried that at all. Um, maybe another day I'll go. I'll go through that offline, just because that would be the most tedious thing compared to, you know, watching someone actually play this. I mean, I say that, and a whole bunch of people did actually sit and watch while I um, did that whole Dune Two investigation. <laughs> so who knows?
Yikes, okay. Well, that means the bottom of this level is just alternating sort of spikes, landmines, and these money bags. So it's difficult to remember exactly where you are in the level and what you're about to fall onto. You know what should- okay, well maybe- maybe I'll do some of that, um, after this run. I don't- I don't think I want to do more than two runs. Um, because this is already a bit of a brain drain. I'm also not ex seriously expecting to beat the previous time, uh, in this run. This is water sort of, I don't know. Revision. So, we'll see. I mean, having said that, this, this run is going pretty well. I didn't grab the key! Okay, definitely not- definitely not beating the time this one. I forgot you have to go down first to grab the, uh, the blue key from the ninja. Oh well. I'll have to go back and just double check how much time I lost doing that. Would have been a, yeah, it would have been about 30 seconds. No. It's about a minute, I think? Yeah. Okay, good. Problem is doing this really fast relies on... Uh, relies a lot on doing things that you then have to immediately run away from. Which means that if you do something but then screw it up, it's you don't have... You know, it takes too much time to go back and fix it easily. Like if there's an enemy you need to shoot or, you know, a pickup that you missed. It's... Fairly unforgiving. Uh, that was poorly timed, that cost me about a second. And now we just jump out of here. Just run through it, Tim. Just run through it. Oh, I lost a bit of time in this one, didn't I? Because I didn't grab a key? Didn't grab the blue key. That was a bit silly. We do get to shoot him. Okay, this is going to be a really smooth one. I accept that he's there, why, why are you there? Maybe I need to shoot him... ...earlier. Yeah, that was really quick. Wasn't that one like, a minute 20? Okay, so it's going to be a comparable time, but I don't think it's going to be... 
You know, unless maybe I get this the first time. Okay. Suddenly this might be a really good row. It's not going to be because that guy's on it. Can we... Ah! Oh. Okay, I do not have long. Let's do this. Yep. That's the better way around to deal with him. This could be another record. I get this jump right. Yeah, that was faster. That was a couple of seconds faster. Crap. Oh man. So, Tiber says 22.20, that was actually like a 22.16, 22.15, 22.16 when I was walking out of that level. That was the second, that's the second record. I'll take that. Um, maybe I'll just keep doing this. You know, I don't, I don't really have a, a, a plan for today. I just wanted to, you know, get in and start playing the game, so... Yeah, um... Can we do it again? What do you reckon? Alright, gonna sit slightly more comfortably. Um, just so you can still... Apologies for the crotch shot, but this is actually a little bit more uh, comfortable. Three, two, one, go! I guess this is just practice. Ah, I shouldn't have done that. I will. Okay. Jump, but that's okay. So I think I'll be cheeky. I did actually set up a um a keyboard shortcut to switch between full screen and windowed mode. So I might try and take advantage of that. Try the next level in windowed mode. Let's give this a go. I got it. No!
Problem is, because the, the platform is so far away, you have to jump on it and then just... Yeah. This is why I said the castle level will get monotonous. But if I can do that second level um, really quickly, it's like an extra, you know, oh god, why did I do that? There is some serious time saving to be had there. Like, it's a good five seconds or so for that uh, cycle to happen. Um, or rather, it's about five seconds quicker in windowed mode. It's very easy to forget that you don't have the... Ah, that was bad. Yeah, this is a bad level. Oh well. So, I think it can be faster, but it is much harder to speedrun in window mode. And that's got nothing to do with the fact the window is small or anything to the, like, anything like that. It is purely 100% um, the cycles are different, they're faster, but they are harder to make. And so if you don't make the... Uh, I'll call it the second level platform. You didn't make the second level platform cycle, you may as well just reset. That's simple enough. So that and then the second last level... Oh my god. That and the second last levels... Uh, the laser jump. Those are the two particularly important parts in this run, I think. Oh, why is that so hard? Why am I not getting that now? This runs toast or whatever. This is all optimal. I think the fall here. I don't think there's any faster jumping you can do. I mean, I spent like 20 minutes playing just this level um, this morning before doing this stream. Maybe for the next run, I just leave the game in full screen until yeah, that's clearly not working. Okay. No. No. What am I doing? It's title. Three, two, one, go. Still, still getting used to all this. Three, two, one, go. Go down first, then across. Really the better way. So the level, the, the blue level where you push the barrels, the, the one barrel down several flights, 
Um, I will switch to windowed mode to do that one. Oh, that was smooth. Yeah, this is this is the castle level. You'll see this a lot. Quite a lot in fact. Doesn't matter. Okay. Has there been another game where speedrunning tactics change based on whether you've got the game in full screen or windowed mode? Because <laughs> that feels like it shouldn't be the case. Unfortunately, because this platform is right up against the ceiling, you can't jump out ahead of it. Just this one. It's a quirk of the engine, I guess. It's it. What what gave me the idea to try the two different uh, modes? Is that there's actually a couple of um I just go out. Um there's a couple of levels made by this other guy that are basically automatic levels. Um where you know platforms move around and you just or you just stand there and do nothing. And then just the um the mechanics of the level itself end up pushing you towards the end of the level. And we discovered that, for some people, that was not working. And we realized it was because if you have it in widescreen, I don't know, widescreen, full screen, or windowed mode, um, the timings of certain things, not necessarily the physics, but the timing of things, is very subtly different uh, between the two. And it was enough to... Because these were, you know, these levels are perfectly timed to have everything happen exactly on, you know, a very specific schedule. And if you screw that schedule up, then you end up dying in the level without, you know... I wonder... Yeah! No, I need the... Do I need the barrel? I don't need the barrel. I don't need the barrel. So maybe not pushing it is faster. Ah, uh, that was dumb. Um, the thing is, though, I don't know... I can't remember which level it is exactly. I mean, that, that would be affected by it in this game. Like, I don't remember where it is on the Earth world. I'm going to have to learn it. Because I also don't know if... Switching between the two modes while you're in the level... Uh, affects that at all. So I don't know if it switches it to the other set of circumstances if you switch it in-game. <laughs> Would also be nice if I did a better job of remembering where I needed to go when I came out of these levels. Ah, it's this one. So. This will be interesting to test. Is it on a different cycle? The ammo. And then that then 
introduces the question of well, if it's if it's faster to do it to do it on um, in windowed mode than otherwise, then that would suggest that the optimum way. Yeah, that's this is on the old cycle. So you have to make the change before you enter the level. Because the timing... Yeah, we'll get it at 53 seconds. It would have been if I hadn't. Might be faster if you don't go for that ammo straight up. Um, as well as instinctively going and collecting all the points pickups. I also try to go for the ammo, even though I just absolutely don't need it. So getting out of that habit will be difficult. Because obviously there's... Oh, stairs are annoying. Oh really? Because obviously there's more than enough ammo in the entire game to finish it. And like, see, if I grab it there, it's, it, it takes no extra time to do. Uh, I don't know about my timings there. So. Okay, this will definitely be the last serious run of this one. Um, I don't even need to kill him. I'm getting a bit fatigued, both physically and just from concentrating on this, so... I'm not one of those streamers who can just do, like, you know, 17 hours straight of the same speedrun. Uh, that's that's too tough for me. But, I mean, I've smashed the world record twice today. I'll take that. And, I mean, I'm not, I'm not off the pace to do it again. I'll do it again. Should be lined up. Okay, that went okay. Just have to take that. I think, I mean, that spike's in the optimum place anyway. So we'll just take the hit and run. Go this way. Go that guy early. Take the hit. Oh, that was close. Um, is that it? That's it. Yeah, I'm not off the pace for another another record. Let's try. Oh, that is going to be so much faster. So that's what I was rambling about in the uh, the last run. Um, that's the difference, I mean. I mean, if I screw up in the last, the, the second last level and um, I don't make the laser jump, so be it. Oh look, the fire's even easier to jump across too. There is a limit to how far something can be off screen and still hit it. Uh, which is a bit annoying because it means you can 
you can waste ammo because something is just, you know, like an extra pixel off screen. And it's hard to judge. I'm not sure what the, um, where the limit is. Um, I guess I'm not intentionally leaving that guy alive, that's just a side effect of the way that... Oh no! Oh well. There goes a few seconds. Yeah, maybe we just take the hit there with the, uh, the spike. Um, just to save a bit of time. Because, I mean, this is the first level. I'm reaching the end of it with health entirely intact, so... I mean, I want at least one bit... Oh. You need at least one bit of health just to make sure the end goes smoothly. That said, because I'm a bit late now, the, um, the configuration of the end, guys, is going to be a bit different. Take it. Oh good grief, I thought I was standing in the laser just then. But that was smooth. Funny discussion in um I watch a fair bit of uh trackmania. Um especially the couple of the day uh competitions um that a couple of people put on YouTube after the, after after the fact. Um and there's been a bit of discussion about uh, levels where you can go you can start going left or right, and then most people, like the majority of people by default go right first. Which I guess is a right-handed thing. Okay, that was in a good position. So I guess my default is just to... Oh no, that's probably not far enough. <laughs> that went okay. comfortable here. Sorry about the camera angle, it's just the case. So this is interesting, the cycle here is different because I'm in windowed, I've left it in windowed mode, that's why. Uh... Well that was surprisingly quick. Uh, that's bad. 
is bad. But I know I can get through this without taking another hit. <sighs> that jump used to give me a fair bit of trouble in um, beta testing because I could I just missed it every time. Actually, testing this game was a challenge um, overall because I was so used to playing uh, Crystal Caves, which is essentially it's essentially got the same engine, um, so it feels basically the same to play, except for you know the the objectives are different, the items are different, that sort of thing. Um, but Crystal Caves has spikes as well, uh, but they're very different. They they show all the time. Like, there's always like a, a couple of pixels of the spike on screen at any time, whereas in Secret Agent they're entirely hidden until they're moving. And they just kept tripping me up continually. Go both keys. Need to go down and get the blue key. Get the blue key. Get the blue key. Get the blue key. Getting the blue key. About to get the blue key. I've got the blue key. Everything's fine. Um, this has not been a bad run either. Except for taking that unnecessary damage. Can we make it? Yes! It's fairly safe to drop through um, a horizontal laser like that because chances are way better than nothing that it won't be there by the time you come back, um, by the time you get through it. Because its duty cycle is less than 50%, so it's only like maybe a third of the time that it's actually on. Let's jump through the fire. So yeah, so we're going to have to workshop the um, uh, the full screen versus windowed mode thing a fair bit, because clearly that is make, that is going to make a massive difference. Um, at a simple level, it may simply be faster to play the game in full screen mode for a few levels and then switch to... and then switch to windowed. Let's see how that goes. I remembered to just run through it. And we're doing really well for time. Okay. I mean, to a point, that's just a function of the practice. Because everyone is good practice as well. Yeah, this is going well. I'm happy with this. The blue key. So taking one hit, we can take another for ah! take another from this ceiling turret. Don't shoot me! Oh my god, that was close. But optimal. Okay, let's get this first go. Cause that would be nice. Got her first go. This is it. Sort of leave a few seconds on the table there just so we leave 
some health on the table as well. Oh, sweet. We're gonna have to wait for him. No, we're not gonna have to wait for him, we're just gonna... Oh, that was quick. Um, yeah, this is gonna be a third record. Significantly. If I don't screw up that jump again. Twenty-one thirty-eight, so below twenty-two minutes. That's That's nearly another forty seconds down. Okay. That's gonna take some beating. Oh boy. Yep. I have successfully destroyed the first DVS headquarters and retrieved the first blueprint again. Ugh. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna have to call it there. Um, first stream in a while. Happy with how that's gone. Learned some things, learned a lot of things really, including how this controller gets a little bit uncomfortable after some time. I need a, um... There's a different controller that I'm gonna buy very, very soon, which has... Let's say just... Let's just say a better D-pad arrangement, I'll put it that way. Um, and hopefully that will be better for long-term playing, because this is... Yeah, I can't, I can't play anymore with this today. Um, thanks everyone for watching. Um... This will go up in its entirety on YouTube at some point. I might have to do a second separate one just for the uh, the record. We'll see. Um, yeah. That's been fun, but it's time to go have some lunch, I think. Um, yeah, no worries. Thanks, Joe. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks, Euler. Um, thanks to anyone else who's sitting in the background hiding. Um, hello. Um... Yeah. What is the slash raid? And then... Yeah, let's go see what M's doing. <laughs>